everybody, what's happening? It's Sarah Bunny, and today's video is going to be a cage tour for spring 2015. So it's been a while since I've filmed. It's just been really busy, and I've been on vacation, and so many things have come up. But I'm finally filming, and I'm back for good. Sorry, guys. And I know I've said that a couple times, but it's actually true this time. So I will now be uploading on Fridays, and hopefully there will be a video every Friday. And every once in a while, maybe there will be a bonus. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get started. So Rosie is a single mixed breed rabbit. She does resemble a lion head, and she lives in a three-level 48-inch bunny abode. Now these can be purchased for new at leafpetworks.com, and the three-level ones are quite pricey, as all their cages are. They are around and $400. I got mine second hand for $150, so that's why she has this. I got it last year. And she is the only rabbit living in there because she is the only one I have the time to care for. So let's get on with the cage tour. So we will be starting with the top level and I have Rosie's name up here and it's written in wall art stickers. And then the door opens like this. Now back here she has this Heidi hut that is made out of fleece and I didn't make this, I purchased it at Five Below for $5. And it's just got all these polka dots on it, and it was originally made for cats, but Rosie does love it. Next, she has this baby toy, which I got at a garage sale, and I cleaned up for her to use. Then she has this pencil chew from Petco, and her water bottle, which is in a heart-shaped glass dish, which I got at the Dollar Tree. Then right there, she has her ramp. This is the second level, and the door opens the same way. And she has these bows on the outside that are all glittery. They've been on her cage for about a month now, and she's never chewed them, so I'm not worried about them. Next is the ramp back here, and it is hinged, so it can lift up if I ever needed it to. Then I put a fleece down, and this just has a blue houndstooth print on it. Next, she has a bunny toy, which I did get at Bun Fest this year. And then she has a jingly ball from the dollar store. And this jingly toy that A Bunny's Life got for her. Um, shout out to Jenna. And then she has another one of those jingly balls, but in purple. And over here she has another water dish. So last is the third level, and she has the bows on both sides again. And this is her, like, kitchen level. She has her ramp back here, and again, it is hinged. She has her litter box, which has Carefresh confetti in it, um, bedding, which is over yesterday's news, and it's just bright and springy, and I really like it. And then she is munching on some Timothy hay. And she has a hay rack up there, which I don't use when I have this litter box in because the hay falls out the side. But when I'm using her purple litter box, I can use it. Then she has some baby keys and a knot nibbler. And lastly, she has her food dish, which is a strawberry dish and a water bowl, which is the same as on the other levels. So I really hope you enjoyed this cage tour, and I hope you guys are glad that I'm back to start filming every week and posting every week. Thank you so, so, so much for 4,000 subscribers. I was really excited, and it was on my birthday, which was pretty awesome, too. So thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wouldn't mind, please follow me on Instagram, at YTSarahBunny, and on Twitter, at YTSarahBunny, to keep updated with me and Rosie. And subscribe to become a member of our Big Bunny family that is now 4,000 strong. And please like and comment and share this video so that other people can see it. And keep hopping!